Hello, Art House Kids! How are you? Here, Miss Miriam, ready to do some art discoveries with you. We're just uh, checking in on how are you doing today, and um, I want to share a little bit of what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to be doing a close-up art just like Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe, she was an artist from the United States and she loved to make close-ups of flowers. She always said that she needed to make, you see the flowers, the tiny little flowers, how beautiful they look when they are like super, super tiny and when they're a little bit bigger. If you go and take a look like a detective in the center of the flower, you are able to see a beautiful display of colors. So she started making huge paintings, like six meters and three meters of close-ups of flowers. Are you ready? We're going to start making close-ups. So look around your kitchen and find one fruit. You can find one strawberry, you can find a lime, an orange, a watermelon, grapes. So. Today, I'm going to show you how to do grapes, a close-up of grapes. For that, you need uh, paper. This is a uh, Bristol board paper. It's like a hard paper, but you can choose any paper that you want. You can even choose the back of the cereal box. It's like cardboard. And for this activity, you can work with crayons. I have crayons here. You can work with um, paints a paintbrush and find something that it's rounded find something that is rounded in your kitchen small it can be hey look at this one yes a glue stick I happen to have one sponge from the rolls when when you paint the walls and I'm gonna be using this one so let's Start getting ready. So I want my background in a dark purple. So for that, I'm gonna pour a little bit of red, la la la, and you can sing if you want, a little bit of blue color, la 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 la. la. And since I want red and blue, if you mix them, you get purple, but I want a darker purple. So I'm going to add a little bit of black. Not a lot because the black always wins. It's super, super strong. Look, now I have my mix there and I'm going to use my flat paintbrush and I'm going to go from side to side, from side to side. I'm going to notice that the colors that are blending, yes, you're getting purple. Very good. Make sure that you cover all of the surface. Once you cover all of the surface, as you can see that I'm doing from side to side, from top to bottom, cover everything, 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 and let it dry. Beautiful dark purple. Very good. Clean your paintbrush in water. Let it clean and then go from side to side and you have your paintbrush clean. Once my paper is super, my paint is super dry, I'm going to make a mix on a tiny little jar of light blue. For that light blue, I'm gonna mix a little bit of blue with a little bit of white. There we go. And I'm gonna mix it with my sponge. I love to, if you didn't find anything rounded for the grapes, you can even use your fingers. Your... So I'm going to start doing, look, my sponge, it's all damp there with blue. I'm going to start doing some marks with the sponge Cir circles. Make sure that your circles are not marching all aligned because they have to be, they have to have a beautiful rhythm in the movement, okay? And then again, let it dry. We're doing a close-up of grapes. Once I have my grapes all dried here, I can check it, and yes, it's all dry. 
I'm gonna start adding, as you can see here, a little bit of purple. I have an oil pastel in purple. I'm gonna add like a happy face, happy face, happy face, happy face in every single one of the grapes. Happy face, happy face. Look at my happy faces. Do you see how they're looking? Let me see if you can see properly. Ay! They're upside down, look at this. Happy faces. There's, they're all smiling, okay? Now, with my black color, I'm gonna add some dark on the other side of my purple. Why? I'm creating the idea of light and shadow. If you observe like a detective, the grapes or anything that, any fruit that you have in front, you're gonna be able to do all the detail of your amazing art. Never let anybody tell you, ah, you're not doing a nice type of art because you know what? That it's impossible. You are an artist from the heart. And the only thing that you're doing here, it's practicing, 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 practicing. And we all improve with practice. So look at this. Now I have on the other side of my grapes, dark. And the last thing that I'm going to do, white. If you observe, my grapes will have a little bit of light here and there, here and there. And we're about to finish. Look at these grapes with light and they're humongous. So for example, you can say, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna show my art and I'm gonna display it in the kitchen while everybody's having breakfast. And I'm gonna show a little bit of art inspired in Georgia O'Keeffe's art. Close-ups of watermelons. Or, who can guess this fruit? Who can guess this fruit? Let's see, a close-up of Yes, you're right, strawberries, my favorite fruit, mm. or an, half, an apple cut in half. So, Art House says goodbye. This is Miss Miriam, and I had so much fun creating art with you. Take care. Bye-bye.